Lives Matter sign in Logan. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. You know, Mario is hiding. There he is. Everyone together say, on three, say, hurry up, Mario. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mario um, has had Black Lives Matter flags taken from his yard, and his, his gay pride flags have been stolen from him. So we came to Logan. We have a lot of members from Salt Lake here today. We came to let you know that we support you, Logan. Up front, we have a student ambassador from Utah State University, Tamoya Everett. She's on the Truman Scholarship. She brought, she, <laughs> she's an activist. She's a powerhouse. Massive round of applause. Oh, man. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. All right, well, thank you all for being here. First of all, if I start crying, just act like it didn't happen, okay? That's the first rule. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, first off, thank everyone for being here. Like, it takes a lot of courage to come to an event like this, especially at Logan, so thank you all for showing up, no matter what brought you out here today. I'm gonna take my mask off since I'm up here. Is that all right? Okay. Um, yeah, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tamoya. My pronouns are she, they. Um, I'm a first generation college student at Utah State. I'm queer and I'm proud of it. Uh, <laughs> um, so when I started my journey here at Utah State, <laughs> sorry, when I started my journey here at Utah State as an impressionable young person, I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to find a space that would allow me to be proud of who I am and to champion who I am. And I thought that Utah State and Logan would be that place for me. And unfortunately, I've been wrong so far. Um, I've spent my tired, <laughs> I've spent my tired collegiate career trying to reclaim my identity as a black person. Um, <laughs> right on. Uh, I can recount every single story of a time that someone called me a racial slur or made me feel unworthy of taking up space. And I never understood why someone would go out of the way to do that. I grew up in Georgia, and so for most of my life, I was surrounded by black people and surrounded by people of my same culture. Um, and so I never understood why someone would do that. I should have seen it coming because my parents took the time to sit down with me and my brothers and have a black classic. This is what it means to be a black person and a predominantly white culture talk, you know? That talk that any parents of a black child has to have, unfortunately. And at the time, I thought they were just being jaded and overreacting, but looking back, I understand now that they have to do one of the hardest things that you have to do as a parent, which is try to prepare your kids for the inevitable bullshit and the ugly and the hate that'll come your way if you're a black person in a predominantly white community. Um, and they just have to hope that their lessons are enough to help keep us safe and protect us when they're not there. When I got to Logan, I felt alone and isolated and overly sensitive. I kept telling myself that I should be grateful that I have a college education, even though it was pervaded by racism the whole time. Um, and I came to realize that the very culture that made me think that I should be grateful to have an education, even if it was one pervaded by bigotry, is the same culture that is embedded in the local community. Gaslighting and minimizing the voices of marginalized people and trying to tell them that their voices don't matter, trying to downplay their experiences, flying all lives matter flags up and down Logan streets and making people of color feel like their lives have no value at all. Those are the things that's the name of the game in the local community and need to end. Um, How are 
the local community is plagued with inaction. It's plagued with people who claim to heed Christ's words of love thy neighbor, but then use that same religion to mask their bigotry and their hate. Because who cares if you say anything? Because who cares if you say the N-word or use blackface at Halloween if you go to church on Sunday, right? Um, I can count. I have timeless recollections of times when I've heard microaggressions like, you're so smart for a black man or you're so pretty for a black girl. These silent killers that makes it hard for the black community, especially here in Logan, to leave with compassion. Um, at the end of the day, I'm not up here to preach. I'm not up here to talk about why all these things are wrong. I'm not up here to recount every story of the ways in the local community has failed people of color, because if I did that, that would take a lifetime and a half. The, ma the fact of the matter is, something's got to change, or we're going to be doing a huge disservice for the kids that are growing up in this community, or a huge disservice for the college kids that are going to come to this campus and not feel safe or a huge disservice to the family that's trying to put a sign outside of their goddamn yard. Um, there's an entire generation of black and brown people waiting to step into their futures, and it would be my biggest heartbreak if we didn't do something now to help safeguard them, to help them really champion themselves and feel proud of themselves in whatever sectionality they identify in. I'm a firm believer that it's not the responsibility of black and brown people to teach people how to be better. If you have the capacity to read about whatever God and religion you worship and to understand their words of kindness and unconditional love, then you have the capacity to understand how to treat human beings. Right. So I want to end it off by saying that true allyship comes when you turn your words into action. And it goes without saying that action comes with risk. So for everyone here, if you say that you're an ally, that means that you're saying that you are willing to risk your white privilege to lay down whatever privilege you have to help champion the voices of marginalized people, and you should take that seriously. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you to Mario and to Lex and to the Walls family. You guys are rock stars and powerhouses, and Logan needed something like this, and I needed something like this. So thank you guys. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>